I personally am a member of the Tall Dwarf Society. <laughs> I'm six. Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some Billy Connolly. This is Billy Connolly dwarf on a bus. <sighs> Let's go. Oh, so anyway, my sister told me this. And she swears that it's true. Okay. And I, I hope it's true. And if I tell it right, you will hope it's true. <laughs> my sister is a retired school teacher. And she, she, she supplies herself to people who don't have teachers. She's a supply teacher. When somebody is sick or dead, she'll supply herself. <laughs> and, and, so, and a lot of her friends do this as well. And uh, her, her friend told her this story. That, uh, and when she told me the story, I thought I would pee myself. I was in New York where I live and she phoned me and I fell on my bed's next, my phone's next to my bed. I fell onto my bed. You know that way you laugh, your legs won't work right. <laughs> and I told my wife, I said, Flo just told me the funniest story. I'm going to tell my audience. It's about a dwarf. And she said, oh, you can't, Billy. You can't, you can't do that. I said, why? She says, because you can't, you can't do you, you, you can't say dwarf. I said, why the fuck now? I'm be talking about a dwarf. Well, surely you can say dwarf when it's a dwarf you're talking about. Yeah. I think it's just different generations. Like I, like when I grew, when I was growing up, probably like my early teens, it was okay to say that. But now I'm in my late twenties now. You have to say little, little person, isn't it? Little person. Yeah, I feel like that's why you, you can't judge people too much because each generation, they, they weren't saying little person. So that's why it's just what they're used to. Until you tell them, like, look, it's not right now. Then, you know, then they might change his ways. And if he doesn't change his ways, that's him. That's him. Don't judge people, man. Let's go. She says they're little people. <laughs> I said, but little people and dwarfs. There's a difference between a little person and a dwarf. One of them is a fucking dwarf. <laughs> and they both know which one it fucking is. <laughs> Don't give me that shite. <laughs> so I decided to tell it. Her friend was going to supply herself to a school somewhere. And she got on a Glasgow bus. Oh, please be true. And uh, she sat down, and it just happened to be the last seat. And the bus took off and trundled off into the day. Four or five stops later, the bus stops, and a wee dwarf woman comes on. I've now compounded the felony by calling her a wee dwarf. <laughs> she wasn't a particularly small dwarf. She was just a dwarf-sized dwarf. I'll probably get all sorts of complaints now. Yeah. Dear Mr. Connolly, I saw your otherwise excellent show. What a pity you descended to the dwarf story. <laughs> I personally... I'm a member of the Tall Dwarf Society. <laughs> I'm six foot four. <laughs> I'm proud to call myself a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> I also do impersonations of chocolate biscuits, if you're ever stuck. Yeah. Anyway, the wee woman got on the bus, the wee dwarf woman, and discovered there's no seat. And so hung on to whatever was nearest, the seat to the pole or whatever, okay. and the bus took off. There was a wee schoolgirl in a school uniform sitting over here, probably urged along by her mother, give the woman your seat, give that woman your seat. <laughs> she went over to the wee dwarf woman and she said, excuse me, you, would you like to have my seat? Whereupon the wee dwarf woman flew into a rage. I said, oh, aye, because I'm a dwarf. You're offering me a seat. 
simply because I'm a dwarf. Well, I have managed my whole life as a dwarf. It's not a problem to me. Keep your seat. The girl, cringing with embarrassment, went back to her seat, and the bus trundled on in silent embarrassment for a stop or three. Then, oh, please be true. <laughs> A big Glasgow woman was getting off the bus. And before she went up to the door, she went over to the wee dwarf woman. <laughs> she said, I'm getting off the bus and I'm leaving my empty seat here. Because I'm a dwarf, you said, no, not because you're a dwarf, because you're another human being. I happen to be leaving the bus. My seat is vacant. I'm merely pointing it out to you that it exists. As a matter of fact, I thought you were extremely rude to that wee girl, and you owe her an apology. As a matter of fact, I hope when you go home tonight, Snow White kicks your ass. <laughs> Oh God, love that punchline. <laughs> he says some things there, but like, what the fuck? The wee dwarf, but bruv, small, oh God. Oh Lord, I feel like it's a, I do understand a lot of Scottish comedy now because I've watched Steel Game. That's why I understand so many stuff, you know. Uh, what's that? Oh, I, I always forget the names when I'm recording. The two lads from, from Steel Game. I do that every time. Is it Patrick? Not Patrick. Oh, I can't remember now, but yeah, I love them two fellas, man. I love Steel Game and Gary Connolly. I said Gary Connolly, Billy Connolly. My bad, Billy Connolly. That was very, very good. Yeah, I do that. I give up my space on the train, the bus every time. I don't care who you are, white, black, Asian, wherever you are. I don't care if you're tall, short. If I feel like, yeah, you can have it. If I feel like, yeah, go on, have it. It's not really a big deal. Let me know what you guys think about Billy Connolly. If you guys want to see more, comment down below. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.